Hello, my name is Nima. Uh, today, um, my friends and I uh, are going to talk about the course and what we learned, and uh, also about the uh, McDonald's case. Uh, yeah. Okay, first of all, I should say that uh, the course was uh, very different from other courses because the materials were not uploaded in the Blackboard, and the uh, professor had his uh, personal website for it. Uh, we chose how he values his students and made a specific website for them to learn. Uh, this course was also different from uh, other courses in terms of material that we learned uh, because they were really practical and based on the real experiences and job experiences of the professor. So it was easier to learn the content and the materials with uh, real examples uh, in real life. Uh, the topic that I like the most uh, is uh, globalization. I uh, found it very interesting because it can affect the world massively. Uh, for example, um, in our case, the globalization of McDonald's, uh, this brand became the symbol of the American culture rather than merely a fast food item. Uh, another example um, um, is the board that has uh, been created from this uh, globalization, that is McDonaldization. Um, another example is the price of a Big Mac that is an um, uh, index for, um, to access the accuracy of exchange rates for different currencies uh, by using uh, the price of um, Big Mac in different nations. Uh, this is really uh, reliable because McDonald's has locations in over 100 countries uh, and the Big Mac is the same size and um, content everywhere. Another example for this um, type of category is Google, um, which uh, tend to, to a web, for example, people say uh, Google something uh, rather than uh, search for it. Um, McDonald's must deal with a variety of globalization uh, implications in order to operate a successful and fast growing corporation uh, in today, uh, today's globalized world. Uh, there are uh, some positive and negative effects um, in this case, positive impacts uh, of those uh, forces that can assist McDonald's in moving forward in the industry and negative impacts are such as um, those forces that can uh, stifle its operations. As a result, unless the management device is a good and effective decision-making strategy, uh, McDonald's will uh, fail in, in, in the future. And um, McDonald's uh, consequences for customers are also various, including good and bad effects, just as globalization has two different aspects of uh, effects on human beings. McDonald's corporate, uh, corporate cu culture is a, uh, is a form of, of a happy fa family culture that highlights its happy culture element. Um, McDonald's has, a, uh, has an impact on customer uh, eating patterns because of its massive influence. And um, this brand uh, and its product defined by three features. It's widely recognized, inexpensive, and quick. McDonald's marketing approaches and business uh, strategies are uh, all designed to attract more customers. And uh, McDonald's has an ever increasing influence on um, consumers' eating patterns. And at the end, uh, I want to say that uh, the globalization has a good, bad, uh, effects that advantages and disadvantages. Uh, for example, some advantages could be considered that the reasonable distribution of resource and the um, advancement of human civilization. It has a determined uh, determined influence on the on global economic instability and the global uh, financial cri crisis. And um, as a result, I think um, consumers and people should take full advantage of uh, its positive impact while resisting its negative uh, impacts as a part of the globalization uh, process. Um, thank you. I will ask my uh, friend Jackson to continue the presentation for you. Hi, uh, my name is Jackson, and I'll be talking about viral marketing and corporate social responsibility in regard to McDonald's. Uh, in terms of viral marketing, McDonald's has always been on, the, on, in on point. Uh, they advertise mainly via radio and TV with a bit of social media presence mixed within. Uh, what I found uh, uh, really interesting was the, uh, the company's slogan change to the I'm Lovin' It slogan in 2003, 
which was quickly adopted and now is recognized as uh, by millions around the world. Uh, this was actually a replacement for a uh, slogan that went, uh, good time, great taste, <clears throat> sorry, that's why this is our place, which made the, which made McDonald's sound like a much healthier place to eat. Uh, if McDonald's were to start off with a slogan change, it could easily make the switch to a more uh, health conscious brand or at least start the uh, switch to. They just choose not to because they've uh, marketed themselves so heavily towards a, uh, a more unhealthy, fast, and cheap restaurant style to go back. Um, and in terms of corporate social responsibility, I found that McDonald's has its issues, uh, such as the low wages their employees get, the, uh, the hand they have in the uh, childhood obesity ec epidemic through the Ronald McDonald campaign, and uh, their lack of respect for cultural barriers. For example, uh, McDonald's had opened up a franchise in an 84-year-old villa that had previously been occupied by a Taiwanese leader uh, who had stayed in the villa for over a month during the uh, 1940s, during a civil war. And uh, the building was occupied by the government after that, uh, which was used as an employee residence until 2004. And then it was turned into a cultural relic, which was then sublet to a real estate company that sold it off to McDonald's, uh, who turned it into a, uh, one of their franchises. Uh, the public would have rather uh, this, uh, this building be turned into a museum due to its cultural uh, and historical importance. But uh, McDonald's, uh, they gutted the place and turned it into more of a cheap looking uh, establishment. Uh, I'll hand it off to the next speaker. Uh, thank you. Hi, my name is Rihanna. I'll be, I'll be discussing sustainability and diversification. So McDonald's has been a sustainable company and it hasn't been a sustainable company and has had environmentalist consumers and science against them. I need this just I need this, but didn't understand how damaging they were to the environment and to the earth. They are the largest producer of beef and pork, pork which accounts for emissions of transportation together. And um, the deforestation caused to create room for all this beef for cattle. Um, is it going up a lot of weight now that this, uh, the running wars will be gone by 2100. They produce over 2 million tons of packaging every year, so it could take thousands of years to decompose. Um, but finally, after many years um, of little effort, you no know, the United Nations Race Zero campaign um, and is aiming for net zero emissions by 2050. They plan to make locations more energy efficient by adding sustainable weeding, kitchen appliances, and making a lot more of their packaging recycled or recyclable. Um, currently, they've just reduced emissions by 8.5%, which isn't a lot, but hopefully, as they continue, um, we'll see more of a change. <clears throat> and then, as far as diversification goes, McDonald's has done a great job at diversifying their products. Um, and meeting the needs of their uh, consumers. The greatest example of this, in my opinion, is creating my cafe. Um, there's a lot of popularity among um, when it first started for modern day cafes. And so they saw the market and they uh, started uh, creating a large range of coffees and baked goods, and um, um, especially for people who weren't really interested in fast food. So, uh, we were able to uh, grab a lot of the market and are competing with Tim Hortons and Starbucks. And um, this was uh, uh, I will talk about the uh, ethic of uh, McDonald's. So McDonald's is core business is fast food, which is often labeled as unhealth. Uh, to combat it, uh, McDonald's is often uh, marketing itself is, with a positive image, uh, highlighting its rice producing line and the use of loc located sourced ingre ingredients. 
is paid a, a value of over billions of USD. Uh, McDonald's for uh, for supply workers at restaurants out, uh, outlets are paying the me, uh, meal wage without added social benefits in US. Uh, therefore, being a multinational company serving customers in over 100 countries, uh, McDonald's must engage in ethic uh, practice uh, practices. Uh, everywhere, not only because ethic affects affects its global in uh, global image in today's uh, high spend uh, internet communication. Uh, also, it is for the promote promotion of social responsibilities. Hi everyone, this is Nilupar. The topic that I am really interested in this course is about political risk. Nationalizations occurs when the NXTERM government uses army or other force to seize control of the commercial sector or a set of resources of real estate from outsiders. Uh, there are many stands uh, where the government takes over a foreign investor's project without payment, uh, such as uh, when a gold mine is developed, uh, developed uh, or a power plant is built. And a foreign investor's money is uh, used to produce the project. Uh, businesses are also affected by governmental choices, and in addition uh, to those uh, made in the marketplace. Uh, individual firms, uh, sectors, and uh, the economy as a whole are affected by a wide, uh, uh, wide range of uh, government choices and taxes, uh, expenditures, uh, regulations, currency value, trade uh, tariffs, uh, labor rules, and such as um, the minimum uh, wage um, is simply being discussed and it might uh, still have an influence. Uh, federal, state, and uh, municipal governments, as well as foreign nations, may create uh, regulations. And uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission, uh, or the prospectors for a mutual fund, uh, may provide information about political risk. Uh, it is worth mentioning uh, for nations that have been uh, sanctioned, uh, political risk uh, is likely to have a more uh, severe effect on their business. And uh, as my friends mentioned, uh, in our assignment, we are working on the effect of uh, COVID-19 on restaurants, and uh, we chose McDonald's. And according to McDonald's company, um, the economy as a whole, which is the focus uh, of this section. Um, governing bodies uh, have the power to influence the pace and um, trajectory of uh, corporate growth. And according to McDonald's instance, uh, the most important political influences on fast food restaurants uh, are as follows international trade agrees, uh, agreements, uh, dietary and health advice issued by, by the government, uh, policies for uh, public health are always changing. And at, at, the, at, the, lay, at the end, uh, as global supply chains become more efficient, McDonald's Corporation has the chance to grow, uh, to grow its worldwide operations. And there are several reasons why this uh, political external uh, element is the danger to McDonald's, which has come under fire for the health implications of uh, its products. Thanks for your attention.